guys, it's coffee time. I'm sure you're all here to tell me how awesome my hair is. Don't worry, you don't need to verbalize it because I know it in my heart. In all realness, I was trying to see if I could still do the scoop, swoop, and clip. For those of you who have never seen the episode where we discussed the scoop, swoop, and clip, it's basically, when I had long hair, it was, it was dope. You scoop all of your hair up, you swoop it around, and then you clip it. But see, I recently cut my hair, so now when I try to do the scoop, swoop, and clip, it gets real nasty. My hair was acting dumb earlier, is honestly what happened. So I decided, uh-oh. Oh, uh, I bet maybe I could do, maybe I could, like, do some, something different. Maybe I could, like, like, swoop it this way instead of, instead of this way, or, or maybe some, and then it just turned into nonsense. So that's where we are right now. I should probably just grab a hat, because now my hair is, is awful. It's just so, look, just gonna, just gonna get it out of my way. There. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. I think we've, I think we've tamed it. Thank goodness. So today was a very sad day for those of you who didn't hear about it. Um, in the U.S. in Boston, Massachusetts, the Boston Marathon was going to be ending, and at the ending zone, there was a big bombing. There were three, I think, three confirmed bombs, and I think that they found other ones uh, that they were able to disable, but tons of injuries um, and a few deaths. It's very sad, and um, I know that things like this happen all over the world in one place or another at any given moment, and that's really sad as well. But um, but I think everybody in the U.S. and and other places as well uh, was immediately concerned that maybe somebody that they knew was there. So um, I wound up being one of those people that was spending time like calling a couple people and making sure that they were okay. And I hope any of you who are affected by it, I hope that. Everything turns out okay. Much love from me and from many, many, many other people. Um, so that's that wound up being kind of... It's strange because you wake up on today. Today is tax day. So you wake up on today and you're like, oh, it's tax day, I gotta take care of that. And then it winds up that you worrying about taxes was not nearly <laughs> as big as what wound up happening today. But in terms of taxes, let's, let's, let's switch the subject. In terms of taxes, I was an adult today. I went and met up with this lovely woman. This is my first time having my taxes done by somebody else. Um, I've always done my taxes myself, but ever since I've started um, getting like tax sheets for YouTube, I've been doing my taxes, but I don't know if I'm doing them right. So I decided to go to somebody this year because I have um, sheets from so many like different places and it was confusing for me and I wasn't sure what I could and couldn't write off anymore. And I liked the the reassurance that somebody was going to have all of those records and was going to be willing to like talk to the companies if they're like, hey, none of this paperwork makes sense. I can be like, I didn't do it. I just gave them info and blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah, so went in and the lady was so helpful and so amazing. And I thought at first, because actually my... Uh, one of my forms never showed up that I know of. At, at the very least, I never remember seeing it. I remember I have my, my fancy filing cabinet, and I've been doing really good about keeping all of my tax stuff in a tax folder. So I never I never saw um, one of my sheets. And uh, and so I, when she called this morning to confirm that I was going to go, I said, I might wind up being like your easiest person yet because... I'm, I might just be coming in there and filling out extension forms with you because I don't have this form. And she was like, no, no, no. She was like, you don't want to do that. We'll figure it out. Um, just call, call whatever company it is and we'll, we'll, we'll get it sorted. I was like, okay. So it turned out that I was going to be getting an email that had my form attached. But we didn't know when. It was like, when the person who can do that comes in, we'll send it off to you. And I said, all right. As long as it's before this time, because that's when, you know, my, that's when I'm meeting with my lady. So, uh, so he said, okay. I went and I met with this woman and we discussed 
all of the things that I can write off in the future and how I need to be better about that because um, I always owe a lot just because of, of the nature of this industry. But uh, we discussed like all the different things that I can write off and how to do that and et cetera, et cetera. And then um, I, m my form still hadn't shown up in the mail and my email and I was like super concerned. I was like, oh no, what if it never shows up? And then she has to move on to another client. And then it showed up like right at the moment when we were like, man, we need to start, you know, getting this, like shuffling this all up and, and getting it sorted. And, uh, and then I got the email. So to you, dear sir, I don't think you watch this. It doesn't matter to you, dear sir, who did that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, because otherwise my taxes would not have been done today, and that would have been unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a good day. Did did a lot of things, and that makes me happy. Um, yeah, and then when, like, when I started reading all of the different articles about everything that was going on in Boston, I'll be honest, I immediately went, oh, because you just, you read so much of it. And eventually you kind of want to distract yourself. And so at the point when I would have needed to be working on my news video, I just decided not to. I said, well, I'm really not in the right headspace for this right now. So I watched Revenge. And now I'm on episode... What episode am I on? 14. Episode 14. Nolan is the best character. For any of you who watch Revenge, oh my goodness... Nolan is the best, best character. I was not expecting to ever like him. I thought that he was going to wind up being like this, like, super awkward character. But he's the best. He's so good. And Jeannie started watching House of Cards. And she likes it. And I'm trying to get so many different people to watch um, Grand Lagan because I keep wearing my necklace. The cat! You know how normally... In, in videos and things, you see cats, like, something's placed in front of them and they just bat it, right? So if they're sitting on a table and, and you put, say, your phone in front of the cat, the cat will, like, like, do this and then the phone will fall off the table, right? So the cat grabbed my drill necklace off of this table, carried it in his mouth onto this table, and then dropped it behind this. This is so heavy. Not as heavy as my bed, but this is really difficult to move, and I haven't taken the time to get that necklace back out yet because I'm just like, so heavy. Cat, why would you do that? It was, it, watching him, it was as though that was his plan all along. Like, just saw the necklace and went, I need to get rid of that. Just picked it up and plopped it behind there. It was the silliest thing I've ever seen. Not ever seen. Today it was the silliest thing that I saw. So there's that. <laughs> so whatever whatever that means to you. Yes. Your sh Revenge is basically Kill Bill with less blood. I was saying this on Twitter. And I am standing firm. It's about a woman who... Okay, wait, let me set the stage. So it's this girl, and she and her dad live together in the Hamptons, right? And when she's very young, her dad is taken into custody for terrorism. And they're separated, and her dad dies in prison. He's murdered in prison. And so she, uh, like, has all this stuff happen to her, like, goes to juvie and all this other stuff. And then when she gets out, when she's older... She finds out uh, her dad left all of this evidence that he was not guilty. And so she goes back to the Hamptons under a different name and decides that she's going to systematically take out everybody who was involved in framing her dad. And so that's, that's why when I say it's Kill Bill meets the OC, that's basically what it is. There's all this weird like side romance drama, like just stuff that you kind of care about, but not really. And then there's this whole other side where it's her ruining people's lives. <laughs> You're just like, oh! It's a, it's a pretty fun show. But she, like, 
She, like, trained in Japan for a long time, and she's out for revenge against this group of people. Like, it's Kill Bill. It's Kill Bill with more teenage angst. There it is. So if that sounds like something you're into, you should go watch Revenge, because that's exactly what it is. But for me, pour moi, I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> so I hope that you guys had a good day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mwah!